Morning everyone, it's Debbie here again from Anne Fairbank. Just following up um, on my little talk, I hope you saw it uh, earlier, talk one. This is just following on from that, talking really about things that you've emailed into us, issues that you have with body image, how you dress around that, how you disguise your, your not so good features and flatter and enhance your better features. So just taking it a little step further today, hope you found that one of interest. This is, um, this, this, I'll take a slightly different tack this morning. Um, and really, I think, you know, from working with a lot of people over all these years in retail, I see it, I hear it all the time. A lot of us suffer a little bit with a, a certain body dysmorphia. So we look in the mirror. I see it from the minute someone comes out of a fitting room in something. I can tell by their body language. They're not comfortable. They're not happy. Their eye goes straight to their less um, positive feature if you like. I do the same myself, it's human nature. So that's what we try to work around. We try to minimize that happening so that you see the focal point is moved and is changed from there by one thing or another so that you feel more positive, more confident, and actually you're pleasantly surprised by what you're seeing. So I'm gonna create a little scenario. I've gone into a shop like this. I do want a summer skirt and a t-shirt to wear every day. Um, and I'm going to put something on initially and then maybe change it up a little bit to something I'm a little bit more comfortable in that I feel flatters and does a lot more for me. Bear with me. Okay, so I've got a little summer skirt on, Tony, tried and tested, uh, elasticated waist, pull on straight up and down, little print on it. I've got a little um, top, broderie anglaise, um, nothing wrong with that. Nice little sleeve, nice and cool, easy, everyday wear. But do you know what? At five foot eight, I feel shapeless. I feel squat. I actually feel quite fat and I do feel very frumpy. This shape is not good for me. My waist is proportionately much smaller than my hips and my bottom. And so I need shape. I need something more fitted at the waist. I need something that will and will enhance that. And I need something um, that's doing, if I wear this, that's fine. But with a slimmer, longer look on the bottom, that would work. But here, the proportions and everything for me is just wrong. The skirt is also a very busy print. And if you're slightly bigger on the bottom half than the top half, which I certainly am, you don't want to attract attention to that. I would be better to switch it up and put it the other way round, actually. There's all too much going on here. I need to keep it neater, sharper, cleaner, perhaps a block color. So for me, that's a no-no. Let me show you a bit of an improvement on what I can do. Okay, so outfit number two, this is my alternative. Immediately, I'm much happier in this. It's clean, it's a block color, which helps as well. So you get that uh, elongating effect when it's all one color. Yes, I have put a belt in the middle. Um, skirt's a wee bit big for me, that doesn't matter. Don't worry about size. If I tell you today I'm wearing from size eight to 16, you might be surprised, it really doesn't matter. And sometimes I say to ladies, if you want your skirt a bit longer, just go up a size. So I've cinched it in with my belt because I love accessories, that picks up on my shoe. But I've got a lovely soft, even though it's an all round pleat, it's not adding width to my hips, particularly because it's such a soft fabric, it drapes really nicely. And the little knitted top is from the same collection, it all works really well together. I feel much happier, more me and more modern in this. And you may look at that and say, yeah, I, paid, I bet she's paid a lot more for that than what she's just had on. Actually, I did look at the tickets to check for you and this little ensemble comes up at just under 50 pounds less than the first outfit I had on. So there you go, you're saving money as well. Couldn't be better. Okay, so now I'm in a nice casual outfit I'd wear every day for going out shopping, um, maybe going out for lunch. Uh, I've got a pair of navy, um, they're jersey, but they're a smart trouser. They're elasticated on the back from We. So smart, casual, I'm gonna step it up and show you how you can do that. I've just got a nice quality, and that is the key, quality. You pay for it, but you get it, and you get value for money, and it works. So nice Brax quality, just off white t-shirt, little cap sleeve. Um, and then a repeat cotton cardi. 
you, you can't beat these. They're beautiful. They go over everything. Just instead of a jacket all the time in this, you know, nice weather where you're not sure if you're right for the day, you're not sure, you just need layers. So, and I've just put some of my white leather Peter Kaiser trainers from before with that. So that would take me to all sorts of places. If I want to step it up a little bit, if I'm meeting a girlfriend I haven't seen for many years, want to do a little bit of power dressing, give myself a bit more confidence, I can swap this cardi just for a jacket. And let me show you very quickly the effect that that has. So it doesn't have to be a matching blazer. Actually, this is a Jerry Weber blazer. Um, it could be any color. Just do it very casually, push your sleeves up because you're wearing it quite casually with a t-shirt and still with your trainers. So that gives you a slightly sharper look. And, and again, I'm gonna power dress this up a little bit more because I'm going, um, to, to have a well a work conversation with some with a with a colleague so for instance so I want to step it up a little bit more but maintain the same basic block underneath so let me show you how I do that okay so I put a shorter jacket and even though I'm tall and generally I would wear something slightly longer this short little Chanel type jacket is very smart and very on trend and that sort of sharpens it all up as well you can see I've just introduced a little pearl necklace that's very classic but makes a difference and pearls actually lift your complexion um, and that all helps as well and then I have changed my footwear so I have now gone into a low heel perfectly workable and I can walk in these I can jump on the train in these um, in a navy patent court shoe so I'm all set for my meeting um, with the same basic outfit that I started the day off with I could even have thrown this in my bag and gone on the train with my cardio to begin with and even my trainers so a few tricks of the trade really. One other thing I wanted to show you before I let you go is some, a lot of you um, talk to me about as you get older, how things begin to <laughs> begin to sag. Let me just use those, lose those pearls. Uh, I have the same issue myself. So I've always had a good shoulder line, nice and straight. That gives you a good basis and a good framework. But as we get older, things begin to slope, things change with arthritis. I've actually fractured this shoulder in two different places over the past few years. So trusty shoulder pad. If you're uneven and you feel it and it shows in your clothes, just pop a little shoulder pad. I won't take the time this morning, but you can pop it actually under your bra strap. And it just, if you set it correctly, will just bring the balance back and give you that definition again. Definition again. That all helps. But I would I would talk to you very much about investment pieces, investing in good foundation wear to begin with, a couple of good brows, two or three good brows that you've paid for and been properly fitted for. We've got a brilliant um, underwear shop in the village here um, where you go over, they're all rigged being Pella trained. They will sort you out, you'll pay. But wouldn't you rather have two or three really good fitting foundation garments that sort you out and everything then looks better over that than say your top drawer full of brass from the high street that because you just fancy the print or the color or the lace and um, if you start with a good foundation and european women are very much better at this than we are we're catching up but slowly if you start with that everything that you build from there out will look better and also you have the inner confidence knowing what you have on underneath if you know you have a nice pretty set that is properly fitted for you and maximizing what you've got and your attributes that will help to give you confidence as well i would always say to invest in a good haircut because that will last and that um, stands the test of time a good classic haircut never goes amiss uh, money well spent so just a few little pointers. Those are just a few things I've touched on. They're all very personal to me. You can claw from that what you want. If you have any other specific issues, do email in, write in, pick up the phone, or even better, pop in and see us. We're all very experienced and very trained. We've dealt with a lot of ladies over many, many years. I, I, I've lost track of how many years experience we have between us all in the team. And we're here to help you and sort out your, is, your issues, whatever they are. So come and see us soon. Thanks for watching.